What's up guys? It's Max, owner of Max's Best Boot Camp. I've got an awesome 12 minute body weight workout that's gonna be killer cardio and core. Yep, that's right you guys. This is a follow along body weight workout. So that means I'm gonna be doing it the entire time with you in real time. We're gonna get into it in just a second. Here's the setup though. So this is a body weight workout. You don't need any equipment whatsoever. And it's designed to get that heart rate cranking and really tighten up that core. Now for this particular routine, we're gonna loop through these four exercises in a circuit fashion. We're gonna do each exercise for 50 seconds on, followed by a quick 10 second transition time. And like I said, we're gonna be doing this in a circuit fashion. So after we finish the first round of those four exercises in a circuit, we're gonna loop right through, no rest, and go through the second round, go through the third round, and at the end of the third round, we're gonna be dripping in sweat and our core is gonna be tight. So go ahead and get in a quick warm up and then come back, cause we're about to do this thing. Let's go. All right guys, time to get busy. It's gonna be 12 minutes of pure fat burning awesomeness. I'm gonna do it with you the whole time. Starting right now, we're gonna go down 15 seconds till start time. This first move is a front kick through and this is gonna take some playing around with if you've never done it so far in the past. So, go ahead and have some fun with it. Let's get into it right now. We're going in three, two, one. Start down, knees bent 90 degrees, flat back, load it back, step out, kick it through. Jab that elbow into the hip and then jump back to the start position. Start off slow, work your way up. This is the beginning of the movement right here. Step out, sit through, come back in. Now if you're less flexible, you may not be able to do that sit through part. So you can do what we call an Everest climber, out to the side. Work on that hip flexibility until you can actually do the sit through portion. Ah, and you know, this drill is fun because it takes some playing around with and you get lost in the movement. And before you know it, it's over. Just like that. Time. First move done. Now the second move is a variation on high knees. It's a twister. We're gonna be bringing the knees out wide and twisting the body to the side. Twisting that torso, reaching for that side. We're gonna go the whole 50 seconds on this one. And this is gonna get that heart rate going for sure. And any twisting torso movement is gonna be great for the core, especially those obliques, those side abs. Now when we're bringing the knees up, truth be told, we're also working those lower abs, engaging those lower abs to lift that knee up. So keep moving. If you get tired, you can default right here, but not me. I'm gonna keep cracking away. These workouts, are short and the only way they're going to be effective is if you crank them out. Ah, 10 more seconds. The next move is slower guys. So go ahead and crank it up. Three, two, one. Oh, you're going to love that one. Now let's go ahead now. This next move is a pike and reach. Great for those love handles, side abs. Starts off in a wide stance plank. And we're gonna pike the hips up and then reach across, twisting the torso. See a little theme coming out with that twist. Exhale as you reach across, tighten the core. Now, if you're less flexible, what you can do is forget the push up, just walk back a little bit and then pike over. Come back to plank, walk the hands back a little bit and really work that twist and reach. But if you've got the move, add the push up, pike up, reach across. 10 more seconds. This is the only slower movement on this whole routine, guys. But it's good. It's so good. Time. All right, last move is what we call the boot camp triple threat. It's pure cardio and core. It's three levels. We're gonna be facing down, facing up, and then upright. So it starts off. 10 mountain climbers, crank them out. Two, three, 10, flip over, 
Now we're facing up, and we're gonna kick it out. Now this works your posterior chain, your backside, and we're gonna get that cardio cranked up too. Flip back over, upright, 10 sprinters. Now I already lost count, truth be told, and that's okay. Just keep moving, whole time. Climbers, mountain climbers. Whew. Mountain climbers are awesome. You can do them anywhere, anytime. Very effective for cardio and core work. Ah. Crab kick, crab kick. Ah, that's about 10. Come back up. Sprinters, five, four. Just run them out. Two, one. Woo, round one down, round two. It's going down right now. Let's go try that front kick through again, guys, shall we? No rest, baby, right back in. Sit back into it, step the foot out, kick through. Come back, load it up, kick through. And I'll tell you what, this is a fun exercise because like I said, you get lost in it. We're coordinating the whole body, making it function properly. And you know, some people call this an animal drill or an animal movement. And you know, it kind of is. Animals are usually pretty lean and mean, guys. Not necessarily mean in a bad way. You know what I mean. Uh, front kick through. Now, as you get proficient with this movement, it's actually really great cardio too, but you're gonna be starting off slower if you've never done this, and work your way up. Total core cardio, and some leg work too. Ah, twisters. Whew. Breathe and smile through the pain. I'm right here with you guys. I think I actually started that one a little early. I'm gonna be regretting that later, but I do it for you. It's because I love you guys. Now if you need that modification, march it out. If that's too much impact for you, or if you're not ready for any exercise, you go with the modification. But not me. Ooh. Ah, twist and touch that opposite knee or thigh. 20 seconds. <laughs> Breathe. Legs and core are on fire right now. My heart rate's up. Heart rate's way up. What I don't want to see is you hunkering over to reach to the side. That would be zero core. And I know you want to work that total core. Let's slow it down right now. Hit the deck. Pike and reach. Wide stance. Push up or not. Reach across. Twist the torso. Exhale. Slow it down. Feel the core working. Ah, try and keep your legs as straight as you can on the pike. And that's, that's going to help work those lower abs, guys. As we're twisting, we're working more of those love handles, side abs, and obliques. Whew. Ah. Oh, the sweat's dripping down. I love when that happens. That means you're putting in the work. And you know what? I'm doing it right here with you guys. We gotta get through it together. How are you liking these follow along workouts? I've done a couple so far. And I see from some of the likes that you guys are digging it. Time. So I'll keep putting them out. Nice. Let's take a deep breath. Remember, we get 10 seconds between each exercise. Take advantage of that. Triple threat. Down, mountain climbers, go. 10, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10. Flip over. Crab kicks, 10, right here. We're working the backside, and we're getting the cardio going. Then we're gonna come back up, flip over. 10 sprinters. Pump those arms. Let's go. We're halfway there. Woo! Climbers, two. We're about to close out this round, guys. Keep them coming. Flip over. Ah. Oh, the triple threat. Burns so good. That's about 10. You lose count. Don't worry about it. Five seconds. Keep them coming. Man, time. All right. Get mentally focused, visualize. We got two rounds down. Third round's going down right now. Hit the deck, front kick throughs. You got four minutes left, guys. Four minutes left. Let's get a little better with this one. 
kick it through, out in front, and we're not going to sit the butt on the ground just above that point. Otherwise, your body gets a little break with that sit down. So remember, we're kicking through and just barely grazing. Grab it. Oh, sweating good, heart rate's up. And I know that core is feeling good too. We've been working it the whole time, it should. Ha! Last one on each side. Whoop. Almost wiped out, no big deal. Have fun with it. Ooh, got those done. Twisters, pure cardio right here, and oblique work, go. Last round here, guys, we're gonna push. And I'm doing it right here with you. I'm not gonna stop. You're not gonna stop. Ah, already feeling this one tomorrow. <laughs> Whew. Stay tall through the chest and the back. Whew. Reaching across, halfway there. Now the legs don't wanna fire anymore. And it's because that core is trying to help them come up. Crunchless abs right now. It's crunchless abs. Whew. Why don't we do any sit ups or crunches? Why? Very ineffective. If you have body fat to lose, don't waste your time with those. Whew. You need to be doing high intensity fat burning workouts like this to shed the fat that's in front while building that lean muscle underneath. Guess what? Final two moves. Hit the deck. Pike and reach. Woo! Ah, those twisters had me like. Ooh. Push up or not. I'm not mad at you. Ah, keep the legs as straight as you can. As you reach across. Exhale. Ooh. Ah. You have to adjust your hand position a little bit. Like I'm doing, that's okay. Gotta find where it's most comfortable. And you get that most range of motion. 15 seconds, the sweat is dripping down, feeling good, and you're almost done with this workout. We are almost done with this workout. Ah. Ah, last one. Ah. All right, last move, baby. Do not stop moving, fast or slow. We're gonna keep going. Hit the deck, triple threats. Last move, 10 of them. I want 10 quick. That's 10, over. I'm putting in the work, guys, just like you. These are the kind of workouts that are gonna get you lean and mean, baby. Sprinters, go. Ah! Non-stop right to the end. Push, 10 climbers. Over, kick it out. Kick it out. That's about 10. Sprinters. Go, go, go. Wait to the end. Climbers. Ah. Ah. Final. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time. Woo! Awesome workout, you guys. I'm proud of you for getting that workout in. Now, if you like that routine, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions whatsoever about this routine or fitness in general, go ahead and post them in the comments section below. I will answer you. Anyway, you guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by and have a great day.